Hi, it's Nedin speaking. Welcome to section 2, configuring your Microsoft Office 365 tenant. In this video, we are going to see how to create new users. Account types available in Office 365. Net ID account. This account type is provisioned to an individual. The account is directly accessed via single set of credentials. Users, other than the primary user, may be delegated access to this type of account. Delegates use their own net ID and password to access the account. Multiple email addresses may be associated with this account. Service account. Accounts that are intended to be used for shared changing roles or services. These accounts can be accessed via linked net ID password or by using the services accounts direct username password. Multiple email addresses may be associated with this account. Resource account. A resource account is a non-person related account. Example is meeting, conference rooms, audiovisual equipment or project. Users must be granted permission to interact with a resource account. Alternate address. The alternate address is any net ID or service account that may have any number of email addresses associated with it. These email addresses includes, but is not limited to, previous alias, accounts and user or role service accounts that have been consolidated with the net ID. So let's create a new user and see how does it function. So please switch to your portal.office.com. On portal.office.com, click on admin to get to the admin center. When you are in the admin center, click on users, then on active users, and you will get two options, add a user or add multiple users. For the first, we will create a new user when we click on add a user. First name will be user1. The display name will be the same and the username will be the same. Select your location. I will select my country. Also, fill in all the contact information your user have. So, the job title, the department, the office, the office phone, and so on and so on. When you finish this, click on the password. You will get two options, to auto-generate your password or to create the password yourself. So, I will create the password myself. Remember to make this user change their password when they first sign in. This is really important because the user will have then his private password. Click on roles. For the default roles, the user will always get the non-administrator access. The other permissions or the other roles, the global administrator and customized administrator, I will talk about on the next sections. At the end, you get the option to select the license or the product license of the enterprise but i will not talk about because we will talk about it on the next sections i will click add it asks me now for the email address of the users so that the user will receive the new password for the account when the user enters the new password for the account it gets the option to change the password and to enter his or her password i will click send the email and close. After a few seconds, I will have the user created. So this is how you create a user in Office 365. Click add multiple users. You can import a CSV file with headers only with all the user information. This way you can import more users and have more users in your database. I will not do this right now. Click cancel. You have here more options. When you click here, you get to export all users. You can reset your password for the user. You can delete a user. You can set a multi-factor authentication rule on the user, which means that the user will need another device to confirm the sign-on on the portal. And you have a directory synchronization which I will click on, and this is Active Directory preparation, which means Active Directory synchronization allows your company's administrators 
to continuously sync your existing on-premises user and group accounts with the Azure Active Directory. This is if you have an Azure Active Directory. Microsoft Azure Active Directory Connects tool can be used to set up Active Directory synchronization. I will click on Close by now. So this is all for the add users and add multiple users on Office 365.